Hello, this is Tsukihime. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Banished, the Fey Village version. Um, it's not actually a mod. Um, I made it sound like it was, I'm sorry. Um, I don't think there is any mods for Banished yet, is there? Let me know in the comments if there is. Uh, I'd be I'd be interested in giving it a shot. Uh, anyway, last time... I'll just press play here while it's going on. Uh, last time we built this, well, we're in, we're in the process of building this cemetery, and we managed to get this pasture because we got sheep. Woo, sheep! That is the best thing ever. Uh, one, one playthrough I was doing, that was the last thing I got was sheep. So I'm, I'm really happy to see that there. Uh, let me see. Oh, it stopped raining. Woo! Alright. Uh, this episode we're going to continue expanding and uh, hopefully hopefully get a couple more people into the village. Of course, no, there's uh, there is a chance of getting nomads, but you can only get them, I, I believe, after you build build your town hall. Um, it's too bad there's nobody here that could be a mayor or something like that. But anyway, let's look at the houses. And they still live together. Well, at least now it's almost legal age, but still. Okay. Wow, 25 and still living with his parents. Must We must fix this. They all change their jobs as I'm looking at them. It's funny. Okay, so blacksmith is at capacity with the tools. That's good. Actually, I was playing... Um, I, had, I have two different uh, save states, save files now. I got this one, and I got this other one. Um, I've been playing it for a long time. I've had over I have over 500 people in the in the village, and then these nomads came. And there was about a hundred of them, and I had almost a hundred thousand units of food. So I thought, well, I think we could support it. So we, so I ended up I ended up adopting them. So then I ended up having this really big struggle trying to get everybody in houses, like in boarding houses. I had to try to build a I had two boarding houses filled. I had to get another one, and then after that, I started to, my my guys started starving. Then I had a whole pile of issues with running out of tools. Then I had this issue with scarlet fever, which lasted for about four or five years. Yeah, it was it wasn't pretty. So yeah, I'm probably not going to be doing very much with the nomads unless they. Uh, Unless there's not very many of them, if there's like four or five, I'd I'd be fine with that. I wouldn't. That wouldn't really change things. Cause that's almost like a double-edged sword having that. I mean, sure it helps, but I mean, in the long run, what's it gonna do? Cause you lots of grief, I'm sure. Let's build a town hall. Well, this is what it looks like. It looks nice, doesn't it? Where am I gonna put it to? Uh. I don't want to put it over here because uh, I want to keep these guys as efficient as possible. Huh. I almost want to build it over here, but I know I can't because that hill's in the way. I don't really want to build it over there because that's across the, across the road from the cemetery. Something about that just... I might build it up here. Yes, build it up here. Okay. Yes, and pecans are starting to give give uh, a yield food now, so that's great. Uh, what do we have? Remove resources. So, for people who have not have not ever actually seen my channel before, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is. This is a place where I record video games and talk about them. Uh, oh, for a second there, I thought that was a building. It looked almost like a foundation for a bit. But this is, yeah, this is the channel where I basically vent and talk about video games. 
And that's basically it. Um, the video games I normally play are either simulation like this one or RPGs. So I don't play first person, person, first person shooters, person shooters, uh, and the like. I think I got my builder really taxed here. Uh, well, I'm not taking anybody out of farming. I refuse? Well, at least we don't have to worry about firewood for a while. Got other things to worry about from the looks of it. Let's see... This is the hardest part of the beginning of the game, is trying to get more people, especially if you have a school. Alright, I gotta see if there's any stones or anything in this little area that the trees are being planted in, because if there's any stones, then that means... That means that they're not using their full... their full, uh, area. It's like they can't plant a tree on a rock, right? It looks like he's been busy planting everything. Oh, I almost got the cemetery. Good. Because there's a crazy cat lady over here that's got a nine-year-old child through, uh, through mitosis. I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, okay, and we got the crazy cat man down here. Which is good, because he's right next to the fishing dock. Yeah, and I, I have discovered- I don't know if anybody has ever actually seen the last banished LP that I'd done, which was only like two or three episodes long. Uh, but I believe I told- I, I mentioned it here- there too, but I'll say it here, just in case. Uh, Fishing docks are, from what I understand, more useful if they are on a big lake like this. As opposed to being on a little river like this. <clears throat> I might build a few fishing docks along here anyway. Just to... It'll be... It'll have to be a, uh, after I get a lot of people time, though. Oh, come on. I almost got the cemetery done. Alright, let's bump the time up a little bit. Make it five times. Why am I running low on stone? Yeah. Okay, so that's the cemetery. At least I don't have to worry about where they go when they <coughs> when they die. Excuse me. Yeah, it's about sometime. It's uh, something after eleven in the morning here, and I don't normally record in the daytime. Uh, it's just that I'm working my uh, in my real life job. I'm working evenings this week, so all my recordings have to take place in the daytime. Still having trouble with the food situation. But nobody's starving yet. That's good. Oh, that's because these two are going full tilt. Okay, now he's focused on uh, building this pasture, because I need to get that pasture on the go. Okay, we need... Okay, what we're low on is stone, is it? Alright, where can I find some stone? Oh, right here, okay. Okay. Click stone. Let's collect all this stone. There's a nice little clearing over here. I wish I started over here. Oh well. But yeah, uh, clothing becomes my uh, my usual export. Like I usually make a lot more coats than than what I should be making. The reason why is because I bring it over to the trader, and they buy it. Most most traders really like the fur coats, so can't say I blame them. I mean, I'd like to have a fur coat. Probably not a tiger skin fur coat, if anybody was wondering, because I love tigers. I wouldn't want to see them on my back. I'd, I'd actually be very upset. Uh, maybe something like seal skin, because I mean, it's not like 
It's not like we're going to go extinct on seals anytime soon. Yes, that was a very controversial statement. I apologize. But, uh, you know, I live I live in a place where seal hunting is is common. So, there you go. So... I always wonder, though, if somebody, if any, somebody in this village becomes the mayor, who would it be? Like, how would they, would they vote for it, or? Ah, there we go. Make that sheep. And we need to assign one herdsman. Oh, it looks like we have Ferna and Orison are now laborers. That's great. They graduated. And in its place, Katharinda became a student, and she's only right next door. Yeah. What, she's a tailor now? I thought she was something else. How is that even happening? Sandis, what the hell? Oh, if you hear if you hear this whistling in the background, that's uh over where I live there's a, a whistle that goes off on the power plant every uh few times a day. That's another reason why I don't record in the daytime, because this whistle goes on. I shall wait until it stops. Finally. Okay. Yeah, you know how London has has a uh, big bin and all that stuff. Most other places have something similar to that too, but what do we have? We have the Flintstone whistle. Yeah. So, that's the reason why that happened. I should make the stockpile bigger, you know? But Alright, so I signed someone to be a herdsman. And I th I'm not 100% sure, but I think I might need another another sheep. I was told before that if I only bought one sheep, uh, that it would somehow be able to reproduce. Con maybe maybe uh, Sandus will come over and and well, oh, she's a blacksmith now. Wow, black of uh, uh, jack of all trades over here. But maybe Sandus will come over, like walk down the road and come in and and uh, tell him to get on. Or maybe she'll help. Who knows? Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can kind of see where uh, where the forester's range is from where all the trees are. Very circular. Okay, no one's actually came up there for the rocks yet. Let's see. O'Reilly has become an adult. Cartez is an adult. Woo! Alright, so now we got four laborers. So let's get some people into food and such. Let's make one person a fisherman. And one person a hunter. Because it looks like she's keeping up with the herbalists. And we don't really need that many foresters right away. We need to focus on food production, especially since it's autumn. Oh dear. We'll have to keep checking in on this, and if it doesn't work, then well, I'll have to buy two sheep. So in the meantime, how much field is here? Crop field. Okay. So that's how much field I got to deal with back here. Okay, so let's do that. And we'll make it... What do we have here? Potato, cabbage, just make that another potato. And I'll take down the farmers for now. No, I won't, actually. I lied. Oh, merchant has arrived in the trading post. Good. Trade. Ooh, cattle. I don't think I have enough for it. Fifteen hide coats. Well, sixteen hide coats. Um, that's the value is fifteen.
Uh, no. Didn't think so. Oh well. <coughs> Jeez, excuse me. Uh. <coughs> Smith. Yeah, I think I might have to wait until another one comes over for sheep, especially because I don't. I have this feeling that it he does not reproduce by uh, mitosis, so we're just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to bite the bullet on this. Have to buy another sheep. Woo, sheep. But yeah, the uh, the whistle went off there uh, a few minutes ago. That tells me I don't have a timer right now but it tells me it's 12 o'clock um, I know that because I started recording sometime before 12 so there you go what can I say I'm simple um, I'm starting to think maybe I should start building a tunnel through here but that'll be way too much effort it's too much effort for what I need Although I could build another thing up here. How's the roads coming along? Let's see. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to... Didn't think I'd be able to get that. Oh well. Okay. Maybe I should start building some more houses, because there's not very many houses here for people. And it looks like we're keeping up with the food situation, so let's do it. Build a house here and here. Start off with two. Don't want to overload the place. Looks like we finally got all the materials for the town hall, so now, now the builder can go and hammer at it for a bit. Speaking of the hammer, there he goes now. Well, that wasn't very... that was very anticlimactic. Yeah. Let's see. Look at them working. Everybody's chipping in. There we go. Got foundations for two more places. And there's another laborer. So let's build... let's make another... let's make two more builders just to speed the whole process along. Because the sooner we can get this town hall built, the sooner I can show you what it does. I keep checking on the pasture because I keep thinking that eventually it's going to actually fix fix itself a little bit. Whoa, more laborers. I really wish you could build some kind of old folks home or something so I could take this crazy cat man out of there. I mean, I know I love cats too, but... Well, looks like we got... Okay, quickly assign... <coughs> quickly assign the right amount of farmers, right quick. Don't you go snowing again. That's one good thing... One thing I like about this, uh... This game is the weather... The weather is not linear. <coughs> like the snow... The snow could go away like this, and then it suddenly comes back, because it's still winter. So right when your hopes are up, they dash them away. They're pretty sadistic, aren't they? Alright, so we got three builders. Hopefully, hopefully with three builders we can get this town hall on the go. And then we gotta figure out what we're going to do next. I'm wondering if I should build a marketplace. I'm still not quite sure how marketplaces even work. Uh, let me see, where is it? I mean, I know how to make them, I know how to assign people to them, etc, etc, but I, I don't understand. 
Why can't they just take it from storage instead of the second... I don't know. Like, does the mar with the marketplace, do they actually distribute faster that way, or...? I have no idea, but I know that this spot here is probably ideal for everywhere that I want to go. Um, maybe if I move it up here? No, it can't fit it up there. Doesn't fit! Okay. Well, I am planning on building in this general direction, so... But it's going in on the forest, and I really don't want anything going in on the forest. Oh jeez, it looks like the place is burned down. <laughs> so there you have it. We're getting there. And he's just, they're just beavering away to three of them. Well, it's two of them. Wonder where's the other one? Ah, oh, there's the other one. Like this uh, town hall has uh, costs nothing really to maintain, and it's mostly there for charts and such. So we'll get to see that right now. And there you go. Okay, so. This tells you, uh, like, how many people, percentages, clothes, how many are educated. It's got to be, uh, the, I, I figured the educated part would be a little bit lower since when you first start off, you obviously don't have a school. That's their production. That even tells you how much you produced in a year. And here's the population graphs. I usually puts it in a hundred years because I want to see exactly what how the difference is. So it looks like looks like we're starting to steady on the rise. No nomads. And this, in case you don't know what you're what you're getting, this is what you've gotten. In the uh, in the uh, oh boy, I'm not sure what you get in easy mode, but in medium mode you get two. Uh, seeds, like potato or cabbage. It's usually random. It could, I could have gotten something completely different. But I usually get potato and cabbage. I'm not sure what that's about. But uh, you get potato, cabbage, and <coughs> and a, a seed for uh, trees. So like pecans or something like that. Some kind of nut. Or fruit, maybe. And you also... So every time you get something, you have to... It'll update itself. So I... I got a sheep, so now it's updated to say I have a sheep, even though it hasn't reproduced since I came here. Oh yeah, they do! Well, would you look at that! Osmosis. Not osmosis. Mitosis. I keep getting them mixed up. I know the difference. Uh. Well, there you go. It looks like I don't have to buy another sheep after all. Okay. Oh, and these two houses are filled. So we have Esteron and Lenny. And Oris and Inferna. Okay. Ah, oh, man, it's just... almost tempted just to get rid of this road. <laughs> Well, that's good. At least we managed to get two sheep out of it. Eventually, they'll start killing them, so you'll be able to get mutton and um, wool out of it. And when you get wool, then you can make warm coats, which is really, really good. In the meantime, a lot of people just became laborers. Jeez, is there any students left? Three. Uh-oh. Looks like we're getting an aging population here. Well, let's make two more gatherers. Reduce the builders to one. Well, two. Uh, make another forester. Okay, uh, start building more houses, I think. Where should I build houses? Should I build them over here? I want to expand over this way, but I, that's where I got the... got these guys to. 
Maybe I should just expand in that direction anyway. Actually, uh... I'm gonna risk it, try to make the bender, the bracket. So I'll make it right here. Right here. No, right up here, because it covers more. There, make the market. And while that's going on, I want to make a roads to go around it. Oh man, they're busy. Uh, okay, while that's doing that... There, and that's that's the project for the uh, for the winter. All right, I think I'm gonna let let things go as they uh, as they are for now, and next time, we will see what happens if I've royally made a mistake or not. I don't think I don't really know how vendor works. I'm pretty sure I'll find out when it once this stands up. I managed to get a town of 500 plus people without vendors, so I'm not sure. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this will help the problems and not make it worse. But anyway, this is Tsukihime signing off. Have a good day.